Bazaar, aka DJ Jenny, and in today's video, I'll be discussing with you the two other procedures I recently had right after my rhinoplasty surgery in May 2021. So just imagine, in just a span of four months, I've had a total of three cosmetic procedures, and I'm proud of myself. So I'll be talking about my chin augmentation and buccal fat surgery. So far, I am loving the results of everything that's been made on my face. So thank you, Dr. Marlon Lajo, for being so ever passionate with what you do because it just manifests in, you know, your every masterpiece. Hence, Hello. <laughs> Keep Plastic surgeon. Para ng tao sa mundo. Bakit ito specialization yung napili mo nung ano ka na sa medyo? Oh, my first choice mo, no? Bad school, yun. Oh, air counters. Why? Dito sa industry na tumon, like to choose. Ay, sure. Gusto ko gumanda, no? And thank you, Doctor Lau. Oh my gosh, guys. Hello. Well, I was actually a perfect candidate for buccal fat removal because I've always had, you know, puffy cheeks. Like, mm, sobrang kayo ko siyang banatin, parang lastik man talaga. I've learned to accept myself na yun talaga yung face shape ko until I got my dream job. Apart from being a radio DJ, I was also hired as a news anchor and that's when this realization came to me na ang laki pala talaga ng mukha ko especially sa TV every time I get to see my face on the screen I do realize it's true na 20% lumalaki talaga yung mukha natin or yung itsura natin when we're on TV so ayun I've been called names like sometimes people would tease me they'll tell me ah yung malaki mukha dun sa malapad yung mukha I remember there was this one embarrassing experience when I was in third year high school. I was stopped by one of my friends who studied in an exclusive school for boys to be their muse for their intramurals to represent the whole class. So I said, okay, ito pangarap ko to. I, I've always wanted to be muse. He said, okay, meet me at the school. I'll be with some of my classmates. Then we'll introduce you to our class advisor. And then when we got there, when the advisor met face to face with me, she was like, they didn't give me a chance just because of how I looked. That's how it all started. And then until I got my dream job, I saw my face on the television and I realized it was really big. It wasn't proportionate with my height. So I said, oh, oh, no, I need to make changes. And since I'm okay with editing my facial features using my phone app, why not just let someone, let an expert edit my facial features? Like, for real, it will save me time. And that's what I did. So I had my buccal fat pad removed. So there was an incision made inside my mouth. Sobrang liit lang niya. Bubuksan lang yan. Tapos, injection ng local anesthesia. It wasn't, it wasn't really that painful like compared to rhinoplasty. Yun talaga yung superlative degree ng pinakamasakit. And then just a week after that, <laughs> I had another procedure, yay! So next was the chin augmentation procedure. Oh, there was an incision made dito sa submental by tao dito. Ano alam niya? Basta yun. So it's not really visible. Like after a week of the procedure, uh, pwede nang humarap sa kamera, pwede nang ano magpicture picture ganyan. So pag usapan naman natin yung post op with buccal fat removal. It felt like I was bitten by a bee on my face. Kasi sobrang laki, nakalobo talaga na nagmuha akong Jollibee, nagmuha akong Queen Bee. So the recovery time was kind of quick for me kasi ayun, manipis eh. Then for the chin augmentation, nakabenda lang siya I think 5 days ba? Hindi ko tinanggal. And now let's talk about the cost of the procedure. So for my rhinoplasty surgery, so it was... 90,000 pesos. And then your antigen test score, which was 1,500. And then your meds, as far as I can remember, for my rhinoplasty surgery, it was 1,600 pesos. Para naman dun sa cost ng buccal fat removal, it was 35,000 pesos. And then your meds ko parang below 1,000 pesos, 900 plus something. And then for my chin augmentation, this one is 50,000. So, ayan. Thank you guys for joining me in today's video. If you have any more questions, do not hesitate to message me up here on my Facebook page or simply leave a comment below. Thank you guys.